Hi, this is Leslie. Hope you're well. In this video, I want to give you an update about the mother of all bubbles and why I've changed my mind yet again. So, uh, by the way, before we start, the reason why I call the real estate market the mother of all bubbles is because, according to a study that was done by UBS some years ago, they found that several cities around the world, like you see here, like London, Vancouver, Munich, um, even Los Angeles and San Francisco, are in bubble territories. And uh, in other words, this bubble could uh, potentially burst in the near future. Now, in the video I posted uh, back in a few, a few weeks ago, about a month or so ago, in December, I think it was, I explained to you that I think it's possible that as far as the London property market is concerned, that wave four, the wave four correction is probably completed or ended, and we could be starting a wave five upwards, uh, potentially pushing prices up in London even higher in the next few years. Now, I wanna to explain to you what has caused me to become very cautious about this and uh, why I've actually changed my mind about a few things here. Okay, so basically I wanna keep this video short because in a previous video I've already explained the reasons why there are several warnings happening right now across the markets. So if you haven't seen my previous video on this, go ahead and watch it, you can see it right there. Um, so I don't wanna repeat my points in that previous video, go ahead and watch it. But basically, in a nutshell, what I said in that video was that there are several warning signs of over-optimism, greed, and overconfidence about the economy and the stock market, both of which are, well, all of them are really contrary, contrarian indicators. In other words, usually when everybody becomes over-optimistic, greedy, and again, overconfident about the economy and the markets, they're usually on the wrong side. So what I'm seeing right now, and again, the reason I've changed my mind, uh, well, let me explain to you what I mean by changing my mind. In my previous video about the property market, the real estate market, I said to you that I'm considering buying a property, um, a house or flat in London. Over the last few weeks, I've changed my mind yet again. So I've gone several times back and forth on this, but again, I've basically come to the conclusion that for me anyway, as far as I'm concerned, it would be the wrong decision for me to step in right now into the property market and buy a property right now, even if property prices rise further. So let me just say, the reason I've changed my mind and I've decided not to buy a property uh, in the next, well, at least for this year anyway, is because what I'm seeing right now is exactly what I just said a few minutes ago. I'm seeing an overvalued market. I think London is still extremely overvalued. And I think that most countries around the world are also predominantly overvalued as well in terms of property and real estate prices. And I think that until we see some degree of panic and fear grip the market, similar to what we saw in the year 2007, 2008. I think 2007, 2008, we saw a dramatic drop in property prices. And we can see it from this chart here, the chart of the London property market and how it dropped. You can see a massive, I think, I think property prices dropped by about 10 to 20% in London. And also most countries around the world also saw drops in their property prices too. The fact is we haven't seen anything like that, especially in London. And for that reason, that is the reason why I've decided not to buy a property in London anyway, for this year. Not until we see some degree of panic and fear and pessimism in the markets. What I'm seeing right now, especially in the London market, is the exact opposite. I'm seeing over-optimism, greediness, overconfidence, excessive speculation. So again, all you have to do, guys, is speak to your real estate agent. If you speak to most real estate agents right now, they're really, I mean, they're over-optimistic, very confident about the market, and that usually tells me, you know what, I'm not interested. Now, again, I could be wrong about this because property prices could continue going up. I think some of the charts, some of the charts I'm looking at right now show that the trend, you know, the trend is your friend, that prices could go up. Yeah, so I'm not saying the prices cannot go up. I'm not saying that I am bearish about the property market. The market, the property market, the real estate market could go up, okay? It's possible, of course. All I'm saying is that I'm not seeing any value. I'm not seeing any kind of undervalued. The property market to me is not undervalued. I think it's overvalued. And I'm seeing, again, I'm seeing rampant and excessive speculation. And whenever I see rampant speculation in any market, I'm not interested. It doesn't matter if it's the property market, stock market, or the crypto market. Whenever there's rampant speculation, I'm not interested, I'm out. I am more willing to be patient and wait for a better opportunity. Now, again, I could be wrong about this. Uh, for example, it's possible the momentum, sometimes momentum could push prices up higher uh, until finally we see a reversal. That's possible. So 
all I'm saying is, personally for me, as far as I'm concerned anyway, I'm not seeing any real value in, again, getting into the property market in London. Um, what I'm seeing is overvalue, overconfidence, again, overoptimism and greed in the property market. Again, the same thing is true about the stock market too. The stock market, again, lots of overoptimism and overconfidence and speculation. So personally for me, I'd much rather step back for now as far as the real estate market is concerned and just wait for a better opportunity, which may come in the next few years. Again, I might be wrong about this. I might miss some opportunities along the way. That's possible. I'm willing to take that risk. And again, I'm not saying you should do the exact same thing I'm doing. No, again, because at the end of the day, I could be wrong and um, the market could continue going up. But all I'm saying is because of the speculation, the rampant speculation and over optimism I'm seeing right now in the dumb money out there, and because property prices really haven't had a major correction, I haven't seen a major correction in property prices. Therefore, I'm more willing to wait for a better opportunity in the next few years. It could, it could be a year or two before something happens. We'll see, we'll find out. Anyway, I hope this video helps and I'll see you guys in the next video update. Cheers guys, bye for now.